Two bombs exploded near the finish line of the 2013 Boston Marathon. Five people ultimately died as a result, over 260 injured. Days later, a manhunt ending with the arrest of Jokar Zarnayev. That Friday, the day they, he, they captured him in the boat, is the day that my shrapnel came out. Granite stater Denise Spinard was hit when the second bomb exploded. Survivors going through it all again now. I wish I could forget about him. I wish we could just throw away the key and never hear from him again. But I wake up and, you know, I, I'm in a wheelchair, you know. See my prosthetic leg, you know. There is no forgetting about him for me. Zarnayev was convicted in 2015, but an appeals court overturned the death sentence. The Supreme Court now agreeing to hear a government appeal to reinstate it. It's not a case about whether he deserves a death penalty or not. It's a case about did the trial judge allow for the right kind of techniques to be used for selecting a jury in such a high publicity case. If the Supreme Court agrees with prosecutors, the death penalty sticks. But the appeal could still be stopped by the new U.S. attorney under the Biden administration. This is Merrick Garland decides not to go forward with the appeal. Then it just goes back to the trial court, the federal district court in Boston, for resentencing with a new jury. It is considered a possible test for the Biden administration's position on the death penalty. If the appeal moves forward, the Supreme Court would hear it in the fall with a decision likely by late winter or early spring. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.